Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. The Red Canyon. This is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! According to our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. I'll leave the rest to you, Professor. But before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. 
Here goes. Thank you. What should I do? I'll cut through. Stay focused. I'll go. I'm on it. I'll give it my all. Here we go. Ready. Next time, bring your friends. Finished already? I was hoping for more of a challenge. You're out of luck. I had to do it. Don't hate me, please. Quite 
My thanks. for greatness. My technique could use some polish. I can't relax here. We need to prepare for our next battle. Feel the difference. I've improved. As expected. It seems I've exhausted this topic. That was tough. I had so far left to go. If I'd hesitated, that... that would have been me.
kill. treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. Another win. Caution.
cut through. as expected. down to this. I know they are just thieves, but this never gets easier for me.
bad as that. Another step forward. Obvious. I like how this feels. It's all becoming clearer. Over already? My technique could use some polish. Stay focused.
I aim for greatness. I'm certain I've improved.
Next time, bring your friends. Stronger still. Sending these brats instead of the knights means they've underestimated me! Big mistake. Yeah! Yeah! Listen to that idiot! What a mistake! Ugh. Stronger, huh? We'll see. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. You led us well, Professor. Thank you. Hmm, I wonder why it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit, I am unsure. Beyond the name and this strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor? We should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. 
The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. We're finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh. Edelgard. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Hmm. <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor, Professor. I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Hmm... No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> 